Do not skip this video, because God has a message for you today. So watch the video till the end. My dear child, come rest in my presence. As you read these words, know that I am with you at this very moment. Let your fears be cast aside and let the words fill your soul. No care in the world shall burden you at this very moment. You have come to me, tired and seeking peace, and here I am to love and bless you. Oh, be brave, my sweet child, let fear not grip your heart. Surely your prayers have reached my throne. The yokes that were yours shall be no more. Do not let it be known that it is an act of giving up, for you never were alone. My promises will come to pass, never doubt it. I am right here with you in the battle, although you are so weary and feel like quitting. It is at just these moments that you have to stand up and be strong. Type, yes, Heavenly Father, to affirm. The walls before you will fall down, but you won't break, so don't let the enemy bring you into submission. Blessings wait for you behind every failure. Continue, believe, and go forward without fear. Type, yes, God, to affirm your belief. I speak these words to you with great love. I desire for you to take hold of the divine future that is offered to you. Wonderful things and new offerings are coming your way. You will come up to a holy and miraculous spiritual abode, making the way clear for your relatives. So many of those who read my words see tremendous miracles yet doubt enters their being. They feel unworthy or that I do not wish to reveal my holy power to people. They go forth and surround themselves with people of negative influence and seeds of doubt, exchanging the holy and radiant grace that could make them vibrant for a life of mediocrity and sadness. But you, my beloved, are different. You have changed in your attitude, but still, you remain human. You get tired of it now and then, and I know it very much. It is this reason, I am here, to renew your faith. You know very well, that deep within your heart, you feel my words are true and you are going to believe them. Type, yes father, if you believe. You will respond to my call and hold your head high. Do not break off at this stage, the battle is surely yours. I am here because I alone have the bread of life that satisfies you to eternity. I have the living water source that quenches your deepest thirst. No one in all this created universe can carry your burden and give you rest. Many are pleading for you, and I listen to those pleas. But I am the one who gives this spiritual heritage long ago planned for you. So, I bless you, and no one else. Therefore, do not depend entirely on your abilities to collect wealth in this world. Do not be despair when your funds crash and have not total confidence in temporary jobs and transitory items. You have to believe in your heart that I am and always will be your shepherd and provider. And please, listen to what I say every morning when you raise your eyes, grateful for your life, your family, this event, and your future. Cultivate thanksgiving, for just as I overcame, so shall you overcome the tribulations of this world. I bestow upon you beautiful gifts from my heart, my love, my understanding, my friendship, my joy, my Holy Spirit, my wisdom, my protection. 
Therefore, rise early and have your mouth full with the praise that your faithfulness awakens. Never do I want you to go far from me, but neither do I desire to go far from you. Holy set your trust in me, my arms are always open to receive you. Your sounds of horror and your pleas for mercy are attentively heard by me. Share with those who need the same hope that today has poured upon you, and share the blessing that soon you are going to receive. Remember my gifts, and do not make yourselves equal with wicked people who devise evil, set traps for the innocent, rob from the needy, and despise the humble. Do not fall into nets that the enemy has erected so that you get entangled in them. Do not forget your powerful reason for being. Today I have cut from your life despair and tiredness. Right now, you feel within you supernatural strength as if a fountain. Keep going, nothing and nobody can stop your walk. I will not frustrate you, I will strengthen you day by day, advance, my love, for I wait with my blessings and love for you. The miracle you expect will take place, the situation you care about will be resolved. Your prayers rose before the throne I dwell in, and your answer is on its way. But tell me, what are you going to do when it arrives? Do not be among those who see their desires fulfilled and forget the one who gave them fulfillment. I need only your heart, do not bring me your material things. I do not delight in offerings, if they come from a spirit that is not full of thanks and sincerity. Your blessings will come to naught when you forget the divine that made your salvation possible. When you ascribe your victories just to your own strength, your blessings will wither like a flower without water. Feed your prayers with praise. Take your thanksgiving before my altar and delight even in the smallest of things. Know well that my provision always exceeds your requests. Because I made you, I know where the road leads for your future, family, spiritual health, and heart. If you ask for prosperity, I will remove your debt, and you will be free in the land you now dwell, even when your pockets are empty, for no creditor will come to your door. Ask me for abundance, and I will give you work that is honest, dignified, and that provides your home. Don't complain, I'm offering you a chance to make a living. You don't need to be afraid, for I will open doors for you. Walk where I prompt, for there is your prosperity in work and honesty. I want to spread out over you abundant blessings, that you may learn to steward them with wisdom. A heart of gratitude and a head of wisdom will give you wonderful results. I also want peace in your home. Learn from the miracles I make to grow spiritually. Yet don't expect material things. Put the heavenly first and have a heart of gratitude. This is the beginning of a supernatural life. And these, my child, are the keys that open the door to a time of heaven's abundance. Your diligence and gratitude and your generosity in blessing others give me joy. I want you to hear it from me. I love the way you search after me. I love to hear you pray and give thanks. Your courageous heart pleases me. Your name is heard in the heavens. You are faith and endurance and loyalty. When come doubts and discouragement upon you, remember you these words written in your soul. I am he who heals you, who prospers you, and who raises your life from the grave. 
I embrace you with love and compassion. I open unto thee the door to a world of the supernatural. Your prayers are my will, but they are also my command to me. I love your prayers, your loyalty, and your gratitude. Press on, Tari in the spiritual realm. Come into my presence daily. Hear the messages that strengthen you and bring them to your family. When you close your eyes to thank and pray, remember this. I lay my hand upon your head, and I pour my supernatural blessings into your life. Accept them with great gratitude. I am your almighty God, and this you must know. I love you. I will let you down, and nothing is impossible to me. If I have asked you to fight and to be brave, it is because I shall help you to win. It is not a statement of empty words. I desire your faith, heart, life, desires, engagement, and loyalty above all else. I want you to make the main thing in your life the first place for me, and I also want your thoughts to speak from my word each morning. Allow your heart to jump with joy as you hear these messages. Hearken unto these words, written with love and spoken with power. Be not content with distorted messages which beguile with lies and promises. Only my sheep know me, and you are one of them. You, in your heart, feel my presence, and every morning my voice speaks to you. Longingly I listen for your prayers. Attentively do I listen, your thankfulness pleases me, and as soon as your lips part in prayer, my angels are beside you, hastening to work for your benediction. I am setting all things in the right order, all things work together. The hearts will soften, opinions will turn around and opinions that have condemned you, will come to respect you. This is my Holy Spirit working. Commit your life into my care, let me lead you. I have for you the best, and I still bring all things about. You will need nothing. I want you to grow up to maturity and to happiness. I am your almighty eternal Father, and I love you. I bless you, I will never fail you. Respond to me with your life, your loyalty, your thankfulness and confidence. This is all I wish. A thousand times you will find yourself in conflict and think you are about to waver, but my Holy Spirit lives in you, dwelling in you, bringing you power to keep your faith from falling. Still march on, falter not, for I am with you. Nothing is impossible for me. Your trust is planted in my sacred word. Therein you glean the power to conquer every Goliath, to fend off adversity. You have wished for peace, and I promise you, my promises stand for you. The daily afflictions that besiege you can never rob you of your joy or your emotional vigor. The winds of adversity can no longer dim your vision, and the surprise tests of life will never sour your soul again. These affirmations have given you strength of spirit, resiliency of mind, and steadiness of emotions. You now know that your emotions have nothing to do with your destiny, you are in the driver's seat. I have given you the gift of self-discipline. Temptations will not push you to the ground, failures will not weaken you, mistakes will not bind you, and imperfections will not overcome you. Your confidence is based upon the written word of my inspiration, you realize that I have promised to succor the man who falls into your hands. If you lay seven snares for the unwary, 
I will free him from them all. If you cunningly contrive a hundred disasters, I will pardon them all. I promise to bring you love and pardon when you were yet in darkness and sin. Since you have come into the light of faith, I promise to deliver you from sadness. I will wash away your tears, I will cleanse your guilt, I will soothe your pain, I will never leave you, for I behold your will, by grace to persevere in the paths of my commandments, even when you stumble and when your enemies press hard. I want you to respect yourself, you are of me and have infinite worth to me. But you are among people whose negative thought endears them from happiness. You wish to be acceptable to them, you are compelled to become as they are, you must give up your faith and the bright future which is yours. Hate will fill your heart, and some day you may blame me, saying that much went wrong and I did not aid you. Yet here I am, speaking to you now, so my beloved, know that I love you profoundly and am with you through it all. Let these be words of strength and encouragement in your life. Trust in me, for I am your God, your heavenly Father who adores you. Be at ease in the sureness that I will never abandon you and am capable of all things. I want to speak to your heart, where it touches the depths of your soul and lets you know that I am always with you, that I will never leave or forsake you, that I watch over you, guide you, and love you with love that is unfathomable. I see your imperfections, mistakes, and moments of doubt, but I would like you to realize that my blessing is not drawn for those pretending they are perfect. It is not drawn for a person who looks flawless, but rather for a person with a humble and submissive heart, for you must know that you need me. Don't open your mouth with words that bring others down with lies or slander. I have looked into your soul, and I have seen your goodness. I want you to say you are in my footsteps, that you are willing to take up this free gift, salvation that is yours to inherit, and I want you to accept it with open arms. I know you through and through, and I know you won't be perfect on this journey, but now you are different. Now you no longer think as the world thinks, you believe in an all-powerful God who loves you, forgives you, helps you rise when you fall, and continues to encourage you to move forward no matter the obstacles. So, I beseech you not to deny thyself, thy family, thy people this wonderful opportunity. I truly desire every one of you should live under my caring protection, sheltered by my love and covered under my wings. Peace and happiness shall overtake all yours, I love you more than you will know. I shall open the windows of heaven for you and pour down blessings one after another until you are fully satisfied and delivered from the oppressor. If you trust in me, ye shall have peace that passeth understanding. Then I ask one thing of you, rise determined every day and keep working, rest when you must, but when the sun rises again, rise strong, rise eager, and move forward with no complaint, without sorrow. Face every challenge with courage and joy, even if things haven't gone as planned or even when people seek to trouble your path. Stick to our plan in the roughest of days, even when you meet your enemies, smile at them, treat them with patience and offer them water if they are thirsty. Aid them if they need help, but do it wisely. Exercise your intelligence, don't give them the way to betray or harm you, and don't show to what points of your life they can hurt you. Show them love, but also display your character, everything you've learned from me. Do not deal with the wicked, 
and do not announce your actions to those who are on your side. Do not accept rumors to hear or spread against anyone. Your foes will grow weak, perceiving that there is no possible way of saving you from your given destination. I will take them out on the right occasions, ours, indeed, is not yet complete. Keep moving forward with faith, zeal, and energy, until the instance that I choose, and at that instance, you will be directed to a large door, and behind it, you will find extraordinary blessings. Do declare your faith in me. Promise to look for my presence at dawn, from this day. You are the brave one, my child. Arise with courage, for victory is within your grasp today. Awesome things have taken place in your life, I have felt the need even before you say it. Make an act of faith. Come to me quietly and live a peace moment, seek silence and think about all that you have to be grateful for today, your life, your family, your health, the air you breathe, the food on your table, the roof above your head and my supernatural protection all around your home. My warrior angels are standing on guard, protectors of your dreams, and ready to fight for you. You have millions of reasons to be grateful, millions of beautiful reasons to live. Think of them every day, so that your thoughts may be filled with good things and your eyes are never blind to my goodness in your life. Can you then be rest assured and say your destiny is in my hands? I live in a grateful heart, which knows how to look for me without fatigue or despair, with faith and hope, understanding that it is well blessed. Understand, my child, I know, sometimes you care about things happening there, but, I let it be, it is human nature. Do not be troubled much. I know the yoke that is upon thee. What you want is that everything goes well, with provision in your home, with a healthy family, and with no one interfering with your peace and stability. But then in those dark days you forget to be thankful, the enemy is within your mind and lining your problems with fear, problems into deceptions, and fear into panic and discouragement. I stand here waiting for you to raise your arms and utter the words that will make the enemy away. Do thank me for your life, your family, your health, and for all that you are and have. Your true faith and thankful heart are shields that keep you well guarded in time of battle. When through the fire load you tread on the day of trouble, have inner peace that I will be there, next to you, tomorrow morning, waiting for your eyelids to open. Lord I long to hear for thy first words of the day, words that spring from the bottom of thy thankful soul. Thanks, thanks for life. Heaven has blessings inscribed with your name. I know for sure why I do things. Trust me with all thine heart. I have all settled to your favor in heaven and on earth. I have many circumstances ready just for your benefit. I gave a sure decree for you to have provision in plenty, to have things go debt free supernaturally, and to have blessings that I particularly provided for you and your family your divine inheritance. You are not a product of chance. I have loved you before your birth. I have many beautiful things prepared for you, the best one being my love forever. I loved you as you were far away and went on loving you as you came close to me. And if you think that because you sin sometimes, I am angry and keep you at a distance, you are wrong. I am not afraid of your mistakes. I will not reject you for your transgressions. 
You always come to me, broken and full of pain, speaking the truth. I know you love me, and if you fall, I know your heart and your motives. I love your honesty. No one can fool me. Others put on masks of perfection and holiness, coming to my presence to accuse those who are different or who do not believe as they do. But you are not as them. You do not accuse everyone, and you do not think you are so good. Your spirit is gentle, your behavior kind, your mind pure, and when you fall, you will rise in confidence and faith. Do not allow any child of mine to point their fingers at you. No one in this world has the right to do that. If you continue this attitude of faith, if you enter my presence every day with a heart humbled ready to listen and learn, I shall reward your efforts with overflowing blessings. I know material things do not interest you. You want only blessings and protection for your family. But I will give you that and much more. I shall make you ready to be prepared for the time when doors shall open. And you should not be afraid to enter. Even now, as you listen, supernatural miracles are taking place in the world, new people come into your life, new opportunities will come. Those things which may appear bad will be, with your faith and patience, blessings and fountains of peace to your home and provision. The greatest, most valuable things are already yours. I have you in an ardent love. Tell me that you believe in me, have faith, and rest in my arms. I have control over your being. Do not be afraid. I protect you. I watch over you at all times. I am with you every day when you wake up, and I want you to feel my presence every morning when you open your eyes. Avoid diversions that distract you and let you waste the valuable dawn hours of your life. Come listen to my speech, hearken to the voice of my soul as it speaks in you. I declare to you that all is under my direction, and you must trust me. Be not afraid in times of adversity, for with me as thine unfailing comrade, no power can harm you. And even the many worries you have now will be resolved much more quickly than you think. The appropriate responses will come in due time. Now I am disclosing the portal you begged for in your most ardent prayers. I will strengthen your faith. I am here to raise you, leading you into a new life, a new beginning of things in which everything will be made new. Care not to what other people say, lift your eyes up and live with never failing faith and dignity. The envious will forever spew their venomous souls, only my perception of you matters. I regard you as wonderful, for you have a pure and sincere heart. Hold on to my words, and when pierced by others, console yourself with my love. I've been with you through all the battles that you fought. I'm well aware of every stumble, every setback every little victory, through all the struggle, but now the time for victory has come. Step into this entirely new period of success and rejuvenation by giving up your old battles. This is a time to transform your life, to start a new chapter. Allow me to lead you down a new path of blessings and sagacity. I give you my love and peace, for your soul and mind to rest, do you accept this gift? I will open up the heavens and pour out blessings upon you. I will write my word upon your heart so that your steps be not unsteady, 
and you be not led away from this surrounding love that forgives all your steps out of the way. You are human, and mayst haply fall, but I am the God of mercy. I accept your contrition, and from the depths, I will save you. My blessing is worth infinitely more than all treasures of the world. The treasures I have for you are more than all the treasures this world can boast of. So when I say, I open the heavens for you, embrace with faith and say back, I believe you. For this take you seriously, for it is just not a game, my love is not hidden, the love I have for you is a mystery. Watch the sky, the air you breathe, the heat of the sun on your skin, these are the tokens between you and me. My version of, I love you, and I am here, beware, for I have saved thee from pain many a time, even from death. You began this year with zeal, hopeful of many blessings, now that you had wandered in darkness and in error. Now that you are up against firm obstacles nor deals, do not stop, do not quit. Your dreams are precious and mean a lot to me. I have blessed you with a purpose to fulfill, a desire to express my love and power through you. I fill you each day with my Holy Spirit, and your spiritual sensitivity is growing, you shall soon begin to see beyond words understand the motives of men, and have great wisdom. You will be made even wiser with a supernatural power to reach out to many hearts and help them. Put my word into practice, let your life is a living example of the results of faith, of what one can accomplish with knowledge of me and belief in my power. Open your hands, you shall receive enormous blessings, be industrious and accept them in godly faith. I do entreat you not to leave my side, not to lose your faith, as the heavens have opened at this very moment for you. I say this to you from the depth of my heart in the most private and personal way, you are loved beyond measure, and my love for you is limitless. I crave for your love and faith, tell me, my dear, that you love me with your whole heart, pronounce this not through compulsion, but with real love that fills your soul. Trust in me with everything that you are, and know that I will never leave you, I will be your constant companion, holding your hand as we walk through life and its dark avenues. You will never be alone, for I am with you always, in those moments of oh so debilitating fear and anxiety, when your heart seems so strangled with them, surrender these things, lay your worries at my feet and I will bear them from you. Unburden yourself, because I am here to lift you up and wrap you in my love for you. Today is a new day, unlike anything that you have lived. Open your eyes to the changes of furls around you. You will experience changes in your life, within your family, and even in the attitude of those around you. So going on with life, notice the smiles on people's faces, for within you lives a powerful presence of mine. You are my instrument, the love flowing from me touches the heart of all you encounter. They may not understand it but they will sense it, and their faces will brighten with surprise and delight as they encounter you with your warmth and mirth. I am present to you today, giving you profound understanding and passionate hope that the desires of your heart will come true. I know you have been seeking after happiness, and I pray you will understand that you will find it, for I am right there beside you. I listen to all your emotions and feelings. I long to protect you, to make you a strong and nobler woman, to keep you free from shame. Change your outlook, my beloved, 
and let a smile light on your face even in the midst of so much sorrow. Understand that I am here beside you, standing at your side to help you with all things. Taste the love that is in my heart for you with unbridled joy as you dance and sing, I am there beside you. Your fears will melt away, and I will give you the peace that only I can give. Dance and sing in joy even when you suffer, let your heart be full of mirth and raise your voice in song and prayer. Raise your hands in praise, and when people ask you why you are celebrating, tell them that the Lord is with you, their ears are not yours to use, for I know your heart and your faithfulness. My great armies are at your side, ready and willing to fight in your battles. When you surrender to me, bow your head, and open your heart to my divine guidance, it is at that moment you allow my almighty power to flow through you. Lay down all your burdens and trust in my forgiveness. You seek to be changed, and I will give you a new heart. Soon you will dance about with delight when you realize my love is all around you, changing your life in ways you never thought possible. Walk in faith, my dearest, and do not be afraid. Find me a bed at the break of day, when the sun rises and kisses you with its tender warmth. At that moment, my splendor will be reflected in you and bring light into the darkness. Your heart will be filled with my truth, and your spirit will be whirling with power, driving from your mind the shadow of despair. Renew your prayer life, your search for me, your time spent in devotion to me, and the release of your mind and decisions. You may be in the most dire and daunting of circumstances, but know this, all things, those that are, are possible to those who believe in me, those who acknowledge my manifestation place their trust in my ability, those who have decided to depend on me with all the strength they possess, no matter the adversity that is met, those who hold fast to me regardless of what the enemy may suggest, inventing his lies that I have abandoned them. And know this, that my love is constant and unwavering. I long to lead you, long to protect you, but seek only one thing in return, that you should believe steadfastly in me. For, I am your life, your future, your strength, and your shield. Walk in faith, my love, and hold to the promise that you shall see the miracles yet unseen. Your faith may be small, but it is enough, and it is all you need to continue receiving the beautiful blessings I have in store for you. It is much time, years, months, and days, you have sown seeds of faith in your heart, in the most strenuous trials and difficult moments, you never once failed to believe in my power. It is this strong faith that has brought you through triumphantly. Today, I want to remind you that your faith seeds will not be in vain. I have seen your labor, and I have seen your great trust in me and your never-give-up spirit in the face of adversity. I am pouring out my grace and mercy upon you, and with my mighty hand, I will make those seeds of faith to bulkily grow in your life and in the life of all who share your faith. The time is at hand when the rewards of faith and endurance shall be reaped. I know the fathoms of your heart, and I know your true desires. You do not seek fame, fortune, or the praise of the world. Throughout the simplicity of your heart, you want to care for your family, to deliver from the yoke of debt, to increase your love and concern to your dear ones. I will to bless you, and it is my will to do so. Say it again, my dearest that you love me with all your soul. 
Say that you believe in me and today you shall see how I cover your life and the life of your family with my love and power. I love you, my child, and desire to come into your dwelling and do a great miracle. I hear your knocks, I knock at the door of your heart to allow me in. Will you open unto me so that I will do a new, marvelous, and powerful thing in your life? I have seen your lack, and I will never let there be any lack at your house, neither will I welcome any harm to your family. I will rain those blessings into your house to enjoy for years to come. Your faithfulness, your prayers, your tears, your constancy, I have seen them mirrored in your behavior. You have believed in me, therefore, I have hearkened to your crying. Console your heart, my love, for the new, for you shall yet have great changes. Cling not to the days of old with all their fretting and despair, nay, rather open your arms to this fresh path that I am making in your life, for it is abundant in knowledge, in capacities, and in the ability to decide aright. You have planted seeds of faith in your heart for a long time. Be thankful and believe, for I am turning your life around and now making you a vessel where many doors of opportunity will be open to you. I have seen your hesitations with me, even in the most severe trials life can bring. I have seen the struggles, and the faith to endure them has been your light. The time has arrived to reap the fruits of your faith and patience. You have never asked for an achievement of large accolades and huge wealth. Through all of this, you have only dreamt of ensuring that your family must lead a life free from the bondage of debt and that you can be a fount of love and encouragement for your near and dear ones. I want to bless you, and it is my will to do so. Amen. Fear not, for surely your life is in my hands. Fear not the disturbing news of the world and the insults of negative words that come into you. Your enemies may want to create a crack image of fear and doubt, yet I am here to remind you that your blessings are waiting for you. For when insults come your direction and others, willful words come that they speak badly against, to defame your name, then hold on to my love and word. Run to my presence and start loving my intimacy. Your faith and love towards me cannot be shaken. People may speak insults or blasphemes against you, yet your love towards me must remain strong. Behold, I make everything new around you by taking off your heavy loads and by touching every part of you where wretchedness has greatly held. You are indeed a new creation, renewed in spirit. Again, no longer do depression, loneliness, hate, and envy slow you down, but the power of faith, hope, and the sheer joy is permeating in your heart and in your mind even your enemies being confounded by the transformation in you for they have sought no way to shake and crush you, and they have failed to have one. But you, my dear, have tried to be weak in my love and in my word and to be strong in them no more than their evil talks. The pains and battles that have overwhelmed you are now no more, and the worries that have eaten at your faith are no more. Open your eyes now to a new day of peace and happiness. Accept it, believe it, though as yet you see not with your eyes of earth. Yet you can feel it, can't you, down deep within? You just know that you're not the same anymore. It is my supernatural presence encasing you, wrapping you in my boundless love and endearment. You are not weak, you are strong. You are no failure, you are a conqueror. 
You are not defeated anymore, for I've lifted you by my divine power and now you are standing there, a victor. Tell me once again, my dear, that you have all your soul in me, that if you get my blessing, shout it with all your might. Remember, you are never alone. There were some days when tears flowed because of sudden challenges, when circumstances seemed so dark, and when the people you trusted most turned against you at the worst times. In those moments of sorrow and hurt, let your tears ascend to the heavens where everything is woven, where all sickness is healed, and where you find solutions to all your problems. You are not alone, a lonely figure though you might be, with those you depended on banned from coming near you. I stay by your side, loving you more each day. That will not change. Live in the assurance that always there is a listening ear by your side. By my red offering, you may come with directness to my divine throne room, for with directness, in front of my face, you can then make known your requests. And I will hear them with patience and tenderness as of a loved one. I will not require you to still your tears, but I will let them flow in relief and free your soul of its pent-up sorrow, that I may give you my restful peace. But a great and real truth do I put in your ears, after tears, joy will come, my love, and your heart will dance with rejoicing. Those dreams, which you thought lost and forgotten in deep nights of despair, I will rekindle, and in your life shall a new faith burn brightly. For in only too many moments surrender seemed the only way out, as you stood gasping for breath and the struggles of life seemed beyond all bearing. But here stand I now, loving you and offering lavish gifts, great gladness, that is beyond all words, and blessings without counting. Make yourself ready in your heart and in your mind, for I foretell that those whom you held for lost will re-enter your life. Your faith has now grown ripe, and it is your turn to render comfort to those who come to you hurt and bereft. Be prepared for that moment of the great swinging open of the doors and the breaking of the fetters which held your good in chains. For he who lives in my word, to him all things are possible, and I am with uplifted hand to fulfill my promises to you, my dear child. I long to be your guide and your protection, but only I ask one thing in return, your firm belief in me. I am your life, your future, your strength, your shield, walk in faith, believing in the miracles that remain unseen by your eyes. Your might, to yourself, appear very small, but I required no more and so it is enough to show you an abundance of beauty and grace. Seeds of faith you have sown in your heart over time, and I have observed your journey through odds and trials that you have counted as insurmountable. You have not ventured to reel in your faith in my power, and it's your faithfulness that's the cause of your salvation. So today, I am saying to you, your seeds of faith haven't gone in vain. I observe your toil, your unwavering faith in me, and your standing firm when all else seemed lost. I have come to you in the tenderness and mercy, and my strong hand will water those seeds to great heights of abundance in your life and the lives of all those around you. And the time to pluck the fruits of your faithful and long-suffering labor is ripening. I know your heart and your true desires, you seek neither fame nor fortune. You want to provide for your family, stem the fetters of debt from choking you, and spread your love for others you adore. I seek to bless you, and it is my will. Amen.